Hey you guys, how's it going? Unseen Abyss, back again. And uh, it suddenly occurred to me that I don't have very many videos of me doing or reviewing any uh, edibles. I mean, except for the Amanitas, and we all know I did like 1,500 milligrams of those, and it made me tired and confused, and that scared me a little bit. If you have to become delirious to trip on something, I just don't see the point. But I haven't done any hemp edibles. Uh, reviews as far as I could see so uh, I went and got these and these are the strongest ones I could find you guys there's 3,500 milligrams worth of THC's in here and let me tell you let me tell you what kind of THC is in this stuff all right we've got THCP Delta 9 THCX you guys those are like the three strongest THC's it says live resin but I don't know what that means for gummies <laughs> one cube has 175 milligrams in it so I'm probably gonna do only one or two of these and I'm gonna give you guys a review and tell you how I feel afterward I'm here in Bowling Green you can see the clock tower behind me it's beautiful um, I just ate the gummy I'm gonna go by Bach Hotel and I'm going to uh, let you guys know how it goes here in a uh, couple of hours this is where I park my electric bike, right here by the library. All right, guys, I'm here with my Tango Bravo, and uh, as it really kicked in yet, I drank some soda over top of it, so hopefully that'll push it through my system faster. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this as best I can. Got Mothman looking over me, but uh, yeah. See you around. See you soon. Maybe I do feel a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys. I've been through this alleyway a million times in my life. Um, I just finished my uh, Tango Bravo, my Bach Hotel, and uh, I'm feeling a little something coming on. I'm definitely feeling a warminess. Like while I was sitting in the Taco Bell, eating and drinking and pushing that gummy through my body, I noticed everything got a little bit euphoric and a little bright. Now maybe that was just the amazing corporate sweetness of that burrito and crunch wrap I had or or I'm starting to feel something I'm trying to kind of raise the, the quality of these videos because I'm getting a lot more viewers and I want to do special stuff for you guys you know I don't want to just be me sitting in my apartment all the time I want to show you guys what I do over here there used to be a like graffiti art on one of these doors and it was of like a beatnik looking dude with like a hat and trench coat or whatever the cigarette and his shadow turned into a mantis like he was a person but his shadow was a mantis it was a really cool piece it's not here anymore we used to be able to go in and out back here before the uh, pandemic but some stuff has been boarded up and everything i used to go in and out through this alleyway back here too but they've put up chain link fences over here since. Used to be able to go in and out of this bar back here. There used to be a goth night, like an alternative goth night here in town. They don't do that anymore. More amazing art, you guys. This place is just full of amazing art. Um, but yeah, still, still waiting on any major, major effects, but I am feeling a little fuzzy from the gummy. So I'll get back to you guys. Something interesting right behind me got the lunar station which is kind of a typical head shop or, or pipe shop smoke shop and right above it we got the Freemasons hangout lodge like is that Sasquatch okay you guys it's getting weird we got the Mothman and the Sasquatch all in the same video and the masons you see what i mean when i say i live in a strange place this is an esoteric tarot card new wave type shop you know you, you could argue it you know but i just think that there's something more going on to the world and uh i don't know i'm open to look into all different kinds of religions and stuff so yeah i've been in that shop and it's a nice shop all right, you guys, so at this point, I'm definitely starting to feel it. I just feel a little, like, derpy. I probably should have took two, so I could have taken 500 milligrams. 
but uh, the bottle said to only take one. <laughs> and I'm only about uh, an hour into this. So um, yeah, we'll see, but I'm, I'm definitely feeling it. And it's, it's potent, it is potent. But I'm gonna show you guys my uh, secret spot. I can go up here to hang out. I can like see the town pretty good from up there and stuff. Get a pretty good view up there. So let's head on up. Didn't think I'd be doing urban exploring today, but here I am. I voted no on the fair. Wow. Well, there's the police station. There's a the park across the street. I'm getting old. You know, you guys, I look like I'm 25, but I'm actually like 32. I'm getting really old. Well, well not really old, but I need to stay in shape. Right. Let's put it that way. But yeah, look how high up we are. This will this will make your legs feel all noodly. <laughs> Oh yeah. And again, I keep saying there's amazing art in this town, you guys. There's just a whole mural of the town. That that uh, image right there, let me zoom in. That's of the library on campus. There's a college in this town. This is the college town, guys. Let's head on to the next spot, you guys. Let's do that. I gotta go all the way down these stairs. <laughs> That was a lot easier, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm about to walk through this alleyway here. And there used to be like a board game place there, like tabletop, we're talking like Warhammer, stuff like that. I think it was in one of these two stores right here, where the tabletop store used to be. Still not feeling the gummy. Well, I am feeling it. It's pretty nice. But I might take another one. It's been about an hour and a half, so... We'll see how it goes. Here's the Visitor and Community Information Center. Right here, but look at this area. Like, look at this place. Doesn't this look like something out of, like, a sci-fi movie? Like you just imagine it panning down and there's just a bunch of prisoners right here. So yeah, uh, if I said I was gonna take a second, I take it back. <laughs> I'm not gonna take a second gummy. I'm definitely feeling it. It feels really good, you guys. It feels great. Um, I'm gonna keep exploring around and uh, let you know how I feel in a minute. I also wanted to take a moment to say what well, war isn't really good for anything, especially on an industrial scale. It just leaves people without fathers and brothers and mothers and daughters and so on and so forth. Oh man, isn't that awesome? Like, wow. Amazing architecture. Some faces and dragons around the door. Wow, look at that. That Quasimodo's chilling up there right now. Yeah. See, uh, big old dome on the top of Trinity. Like I said, this town is just so out of place. You know, an interesting thing about the effects of this gummy is uh, I feel kind of energized on it, too. Like, I feel like a little bit of a get up and go, you know? I don't feel like I want to be slumped into a couch. I want to feel like I want to keep moving and keep exploring and keep having fun. Um, and again, it's euphoric and it's a little trippy, you know? I wish I would have taken two, but now that I've taken the one, I kind of don't want to take another because it is decently strong, but I could see how two would be even better, but yeah, everything's just very vivid and bright and pretty and euphoric looking and I feel pretty good All right, you guys So I'm out here at the great big rock. I just got some kombucha. Anyways, here we are the great big rock And uh, a slightly smaller rock They've been here for a long time. Don't know what they're here for. Don't know why they're here Sometimes people walk up and look at the great big rocks. Here I am looking at the great big rocks. That's a little too close to being a swastika. I don't like that. But I like the, the little heart looking thing over top of it. I might be getting home soon because it looks like it might rain. It's like it's a little 
stay close to raining. I'm coming up behind an apartment complex out of this field here. Look how big that field is. Whoa! All right, you guys. This is the last alleyway I'm taking you through in Bowling Green. It's a strange place. There's a random brush on the ground, but yeah, look at this. Isn't that freaking like sweet, yo? Here's looking at you. And when you get to the back, back here, it's just like a whole bunch of super old school graffiti. Probably from like the early 2000s and 90s. Yeah, it's an interesting place to live, Bowling Green, but man, is it a weird place too. It's a very weird place. Here's some more art. There's a UFO, that's like our final cryptic, guys, and a blue donkey. That can be a new cryptid. One more alleyway, a bonus alleyway before I go. One more. <laughs> so beautiful, but there's definitely a dark, strange, weird, mysterious thing to Bowling Green, Ohio, and the entire black swamp area in general. I will bring you more videos like this. Thank you for getting me to 100 subscribers, you guys. Much love. Once again, Unseen Abyss. Like and subscribe.